Chelsea interested in PSG youngster. Chelsea very interested in Rafael Guerrero, an ex Borussia Dortmund player that played under Tuchel and Tuchel arguably got the best out of him and is very good as a left wing back in the formation that Thomas Tuchel is using currently. Chelsea have a transfer offer ready for world class attacker. It goes by the name of Erling Haaland. All that coming up in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So well, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a Chelsea news video, but it's basically all on transfers. The transfer window is not open, but this is one of the biggest transfer news days since the transfer window shut. There's some huge stories. Starting off with, I'm not sure how you pronounce this, it's a Moroccan name. We've got the links to the Hakim Ziyech. What well, his name is Kays Ruiz Atil. He's a French, he's a Moroccan youngster playing in the PSG Academy. He has been there for a while, but he's seen as one of the better future players in world football. And Thomas Tuchel reportedly really liked him and even got him his first call up really for PSG. The Blues boss really thinks him in a high regard and he's potentially linked with a move to the bridge he's another youngster and Tuchel obviously loves his youngsters sounds a bit weird but he, he doesn't he, he, he doesn't um. moving on he's really getting the best out of the Chelsea youngsters like Reese James, Callum Hudson, Doy, Mason Mount um, Tammy Abraham we haven't seen loads of yet Billy Gilmore he's not even started a game yet he's only been named on the bench once and didn't end up coming on but um case Ruiz Atil I'm not, I'm, let's just call him R Ruiz Atil because that's a lot easier than case Ruiz Atil uh, apparently case apparently Ruiz Atil was one of Thomas Tuchel's favorite players favorite youngsters and he really thinks of him really highly and could bring him to the bridge to kind of carry on the well he, he obviously gets the best out of him and I don't think he's playing much under Mauricio Pochettino over in PSG currently. He's 18 years old. He operates as a central midfielder. He's made seven appearances in Ligue 1, which all came prior to Thomas Tuchel's sacking. So Mauricio Pochettino hasn't started him. He's 18 years old, getting starts for PSG alongside the likes of Kylian Mbappe, Neymar, Di Maria, some huge players. And I don't know if Thomas Tuchel would really be desperate to bring him over but I think he could be a great addition to Chelsea's young squad and he may even like he's gonna fit in well he will already have known Thiago Silva I guess he obviously would have known Thomas Tuchel I'm guessing he's in the Moroccan first team or Moroccan team he, he, he's obviously gonna be able to uh, talk to Hakim Ziyech so secondly Rafael Guerrero a few years ago Actually, no, it's not too long ago, probably about a year ago now, when the Bundesliga was playing and the Premier League was yet to restart. Lots of Chelsea fans noticed Rafael Guerrero's brilliant performances for Borussia Dortmund, and some were even saying, bring him in. He's a good winger. He can play on the wing, he can even play in the midfield, but he's probably less, best utilised as a left wing back. He's left footed, he doesn't have a right foot, he just doesn't have a right foot. He's just got one left foot and he hops about on the pitch pretty much. His right foot is useless apart from running around on. But after some impressive displays back in the first lockdown, that seems so long ago, Chelsea fans were like really interested in saying stuff like, we want Guerrero, Guerrero to Chelsea. And now with Thomas Tuchel coming to the bridge, coming and saying that he's gonna play the three at the back formation in the near future, the foreseeable future, with the wing backs, Guerrero obviously played on the Tuchel at Borussia Dortmund. I think he was one of his first signings, so he basically kick-started his career over for Borussia Dortmund, and I think he could be a brilliant signing for Chelsea. Although he did Ben Chilwell, and he was only brought in last season for 50 million pounds, and he's done. He's good in a fullback. He's very good in a fullback, Ben Chilwell, but he's really not as good. He's not as effective in a five at the back going forwards he's decent defending he's decent but Marcus Alonso going forwards he's great but defending he's awful 
So it kind of levels out, but Guerrero to Chelsea, comment down below what you think. And now, lastly, if you heard what I said at the start, you might think I'm joking. I'm not. If you saw my video yesterday, Borussia Dortmund, one of the stories was the fact that Borussia Dortmund may be forced to sell some of their bigger players after, if they don't finish in a Champions League spot, they'll lose out on £75 million. And that's adding to the £25 million they're already lost through TV promotions and stuff, I don't know. But they've pretty much, if they don't finish in Champions League, they would have lost £100 million. And I don't know where they are in the Bundesliga currently, but surely if they're worrying about that, they're not too close to it. They must be petrified they're not going to finish in the Champions League. So, they have reportedly said that they're prepared to sell Jadon Sancho, Axel Witzel, Mahmoud Dahoud, and somebody else. But Erling Haaland, Jude Bellingham, uh, Rafael Guerrero as well, they're all open to sell them in case of an emergency if they like desperate for money uh, and the club go out of business they will be open to hearing offers and Chelsea reportedly reportedly readying a bid for him Erling Haaland I don't know if I said that prolific Norway striker has been so good for Borussia Dortmund in the last year and a half He's been so good, he's really established himself as one, as one of the better strikers on the planet Earth. And it'd be very interesting to see how he can cope in the Premier League and try and take that step forwards to really accelerate his career and become one of the best ever. If you look at Messi Ronaldo, Ronaldo did it in the Prem, he also did it in Spain, he also did it in Italy. Messi, he did it in Spain, just Spain. If you look at Lewandowski, one of the best strikers ever, he only ever did it in Germany and he's not really classed as one of the goats he's a very very good striker and I rate him very highly but because he just stayed in Germany his whole career he's not really looked upon as one of the best ever of all time Billing Haaland will eventually want to have a move away from Germany with Manchester City, Real Madrid, Chelsea, Man United, PSG I don't know if PSG are interested actually I guess they've got Mbappe uh, well, Manchester City looked like the most likely destination for him as his father did play for Manchester City in his playing career. Real Madrid apparently are going to sign either Haaland or Mbappe this summer, which is big to say considering they're in loads of debt. Barcelona are even in even more debt, a billion pounds debt, so they're not going to be able to sign Erling Haaland for however much they're selling him for. And Manchester City said that they're happy to offer anything over 100 million pounds to snap up their man but Chelsea they want him more than anyone I think he could be brilliant for Chelsea he will literally take us places he's like Didier Drogba reincarnated he's so big he's so fast and he can shoot from anywhere he knows exactly where the goal is so for me Erling Haaland would be the best signing we could ever get in the next 10 years unless there's some new kid that's even better than him that is all today thank you very much for watching make sure you like this video if you were interested in any of the stories it helps me out a lot comment down below your thoughts on the story subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos match preview for the Barnsley game coming out later I won't be making a match review straight afterwards just because it's a little bit tight but I will try to be doing them for most of the other games I will make a match analysis video coming out tomorrow, analysing some scenarios in the chelsea Barnsley game, how we won, how we drew, or lost. Hopefully we won. It's Barnsley. Thanks for watching and goodbye.